Hi, I'm Phileas Dane and I'm the Safari Expert and this week I'm at Tenze Rustic Camp in Northern Kruger and in this video I'm going to show you around camp, tell you which stands are best and also give you some tips when it comes to game viewing. But before I do that, remember to order your copy of Kruger Self Drive Routes, Roads and Ratings, the best book to help plan your Kruger Safari. If you use the link in the video description, you'll get a 10% discount when you check out. Tenzi Rustic Camp lies about three-fifths of the way up in Kruger, just south of Mupani Rest Camp. Since there's literally nothing but a campsite at Tenzi, you have to check in at Mupani's reception when you arrive. You can also use this opportunity to buy firewood and basic groceries at the camp store and to fill up at Mupani's filling station. Tenzi has 34 stands tucked away in a section of felt that is dominated by Mupani trees and a few large apple leaf trees. It's known for its tranquility and excellent bird life, and many visitors spend more time in camp than they do out on game drives. Not all campsites in Tenze were created equally. The one behind me, number 19, where I'm staying, has zero shade. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a walk through camp, and I'm gonna let you know which ones are best. My favorite stand has to be campsite number 15. It is very exclusive, large and level, so plenty of space for a caravan, a big apple leaf tree to provide shade, and far away from all of your neighbors. I also really like number three next to the fence, and number four under a massive apple leaf tree, as well as number 12 and number 14. If you are traveling in a big group and you need two stands right next to each other, I recommend that you book campsite number 23 and number 24 here behind me, which are nice and exclusive. It is, however, very close to the camp manager's house and Moiplas picnic site, so it's probably not the quietest sites in Zenze. Alternatively, you can also book stands number five and six, which are closer to the gate and right on the fence, and also have plenty of space for a big group. You can book these specific stands by sending an email to Mupani reception at sandparks.org immediately after making your booking, and they'll allocate it to you if it's still available. There are no PowerPoints in camp and generators are not allowed, so I recommend that you bring with a portable power bank and some solar panels. There's also no cell phone signal, further promoting the peacefulness that makes Tenze so popular. There are taps and rubbish bins throughout camp, and each campsite has a bry stand, although some of them cannot be moved around. There are communal ablution blocks and open kitchenettes scattered throughout camp, and I must say they are arguably the cleanest in the whole park. I also love the fact that they are both indoor and outdoor showers. My favorite thing about Senze are all the birds. Starlings, barbets, franklins, doves, babblers and hornbills all hop around you like you're not even there. Also keep an eye out for things like bushrikes, flycatchers, woodpeckers and South Africa's three smallest owls. The scops owl, barred owlet and pearl spotted owlet. All of which are common in camp. And if you can't find them, ask the duty manager Rogers to show you where to look. A great place to look for birds is along the perimeter fence. A small footpath runs right around camp and it's an easy 20 minute walk. Right, let's talk about game viewing around Tenzi. The truth is, this area that's dominated by Mupani felt is not particularly good for game viewing. The dense vegetation makes game viewing tough and because it's so monotonous, game drives can quickly become a bit boring. There are however a few nice routes to drive around Tenzi. Early mornings I like to drive the small river loops between Tenze and Mupani. There are plenty of big trees along the Tenze River, which tends to keep water throughout most of the years. Driving here probably gives you the best chance of finding a leopard around Tenze. I also love parking off at the low water bridge next to Shipandani Hyde, just south of Mupani. There's always something happening here. The 
height itself is actually not that great for photography or even just game viewing because everything except for the hippos is usually quite far away from you. Shibandani Hide is one of the park's overnight hides with beds that fold down from the sides and I've added a link in the video description if you want to learn more about it. In the afternoons when it's hotter, I like to explore the areas around Moiplas and the Nshawu waterholes to the northeast of Tsenze. The Nshawu waterholes aren't being pumped anymore, but because this whole area forms a wetland, there's often natural standing water here, and hence lots of game. If you ask me, this is the best place to look for lions in the area. Moiplas waterhole is still being pumped, and the old cement reservoir often attracts thirsty elephants right throughout the afternoon. If I'm going to drive one of the longer loops in the area, morning or afternoon, it would be the S143 Tropic of Capricorn loop past Tiongon Yeni waterhole, which has also been closed. This is a good place to look for rare antelopes like Tsesebi, Eland, and Rowan. And if you only want to do a short drive in the afternoon, head south to the Confluence Lookout where you'll be unlucky not to see elephants in the riverbeds. Even though it's right next to Tsenze, it's also worth stopping at Moiplas picnic site to stretch your legs. It's one of the most beautiful picnic sites in the whole Kruger and it's got a stunning view over the nearby riverbed. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other Kruger videos for that matter, please consider becoming a patron of the channel. Now the way that you do that is to head over to Patreon by following the link I've added in the video description. And for those of you that don't know, Patreon is basically a platform that allows viewers like you to support content creators like me by making a small monthly donation. And for that you'll receive some rewards like mentions in the video, wildlife smartphone wallpapers, behind the scenes footage and also early access to the videos. So please go and check that out. If you enjoyed this video as always leave a like, subscribe to the channel and feel free to ask any questions you might have in the comments down below. And don't forget to go and check out Kruger Self Drive routes, roads and ratings. Until next time! Crocodile don't care.